Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Tracks, and today we have an experimental episode. We're not going to be doing like a themed like world build or anything like that. We're going to be doing experiments with how long we can make the train, and then what happens if we have it run into itself, a run on top of itself and things like that. We're just gonna basically create the snake of trains and give it an impossible track to go along just to see what happens. And I'm wondering, is there a limit on the amount of passenger cards that you can add to this train? Uh, we, we, we might try to find that depending on how long it takes for me to get there if there is a there to get to. It might just keep letting me add trains, in which case this is gonna get ridiculous pretty quickly. All right, well, first off, let's actually start making this world look a little bit better, a little bit more vibrant. I'm gonna, um, we're gonna have a nice blue sky and I'm gonna make a green, uh, floor. Oh, I skipped it. We're gonna make a green floor. All right, I think this world is looking pretty nice. Now it is time to add some passenger, oh, carriages, they call it, not carts. So I'm wondering if I don't have enough track, what's gonna happen? Okay, there goes the train. Now what if I just keep adding a couple of more, and my train is just leaving without me. Is there a quicker way? I wish there was, like, just a single button I could press so I don't have to keep moving my mouse over, over, oh, oh, boy, I clicked on something wrong. All right, I don't know how many I've added. I'm, I'm just, I'm still just clicking here. All right, let's take a look. Whoa! <laughs> this is actually more than I thought it was. Uh, so, if I restart the train, uh... What happens? Whoa! Okay, it expands kind of like a slinky. So I think we're just gonna have to place enough track down for this train to even just be on in the first place. Can I build a track through my train? I cannot. Okay, we have a problem. I think the solution to the problem is uh, we're just gonna put this train on max speed. It looks like it can go. And we're gonna get it away while we actually build enough track for this thing to just spawn on at least. So we're just gonna build a start. We're chasing our train with the track. This is the opposite of like the cartoons where they're putting the rails in front of the train as it's going. This time we're chasing the train with the rails. It kind of defeats the whole per- Oh, did I reach the end of the map? Oh, nope, there we go. We're going now. All right, so I think that should be enough. Let's go back in the train, spawn it back and see how long it is compared to the actual track here. All right, our train appears to be stuck with quite a lot of uh, carriages merged into itself. So I'm gonna build this track backwards a little bit, give it a little bit of room to expand backwards as well. I'm gonna get in the train and, oh, there we go, we just shot forward a little bit. Okay, now let's see what we're looking like. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create the tightest loop I can. We're gonna have this train go around a loop and into itself, and we're just gonna see, can it go through itself or is it gonna crash? That is the first question that I want answered. So we're just gonna go around like this. That's all we're doing. We're gonna go full speed ahead and place your bets now. Do you think it's gonna go through or do you think we're gonna crash into ourselves and stop? Here we go. Turning right. All right, moment of truth. What? It stopped us. But now we're going. Look at that. We could actually go through ourselves. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm going to create a loopy 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 thing going on. All right, so we're going to have to unfortunately keep our train. We're going to have to stay in our train and keep it turned to the right. I'm wondering if we can actually set the turning to default. So if I turn and then exit the train, is it going to stay turned to the right? And then we can watch it from a third person perspective instead of having to be in the train. But let's try a couple of loops for now. And this train is just going to be looping through itself like crazy. And then after what, after we do this, what I want to do is I want to have the train, I'm going to make a track that goes around and comes back onto itself. So we're going to have the train essentially go into itself and maybe even we'll have the train jump up onto itself because I think I saw the developer release a GIF where the train can ride on top of itself. And then after that, we're going to try to just keep adding as many track or as many carriages as we can to see if there's a limit. And if not, how far are we going to go before we decide it's time to just quit and just drive the train for once? Drive the train, finally. Hey, the train's coming back. Look at that. All right, so we've got a decent amount of loops here. 
We got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven loops. So let's see how this goes. All right, full speed. We're turning to the right. Press T. Now we should hopefully be turned to the right. Is it? I can't see it. Uh, I can't see it. We're just gonna have to find out. Oh, oh, I forgot. Keep going. Keep going. Keep. Did we glitch it out the first time? Come on, keep. Go, go, go. go. Look at the. Look at it glitch out here. Why did it work the first time, but now it doesn't? Oh, we, we broke through. We broke through. All right, turn to the right. Can can we go back onto ourselves though? Oh, this is going to be an issue. It's not going to keep going without us being in the seat here. So it appears that it does actually get affected by intersecting with itself. But uh, it's possible to... It seems like it's possible to push through it. Come on. Come on. It's like slowly merging with itself. It, it wants to resist, but it's doing it. Come on, train. Come on, just be be one with yourself. Be one with the track. Be one with the carriage. Just be one. Look at it go. All right, we're merging. This. This is a bit uncomfortable. The game is probably like, please stop. This is not what this is meant for. Oh, we got a little bit more progress there, and we're through, and we have another one coming up. All right, turn right. Oh, no. Okay, and we're stuck again. All right, I just want to see what this looks like now from a third-person perspective. Uh, uh, well, we made it through a couple of loops, so I'm going to say uh, this is probably, the seven loops probably isn't going to be worth trying because uh, we're just going to keep getting stuck on ourselves, and it's going to be slow going. But this experiment is now confirmed that we can go through ourselves. It just takes a little bit of effort. So the next thing is what happens if we come back to ourselves. So I'm actually going to clear this track and we're going to start with a new track. And fortunately, starting with a new track doesn't actually erase our trip. Oh, did we? We lost our red bar. Our speed meter is gone. Well, here goes Scrapman again, breaking the games that he plays when he experiments with stuff. Okay, so now the experiment is go straight, and instead of doing a loop, we're actually going to do like a figure eight back onto where we came from. So I think that's long enough for a start. And then this turn off is going to come back around directly into itself. So hopefully the train is long enough so that it goes around here, then comes back, and it's going to hit itself head on pretty much. But I'm going to add a few more uh, passenger carriages just for the fun of it. And just to make sure that we're going to be able to span the entire loop. All right, there we go. That, that should be plenty enough. That should really be plenty enough. All right, do we have our red bar back? We do not. We glitched out the bar. All right, here we go. Full speed ahead. Um, and I'm going to have to turn to the right here. There we go. Now it's probably going to stop us again. And... Uh, yeah, there we go. So now I'm wondering... If we break past this first cart, are we going to go to normal speed or is every single cart going to give us an issue? Because we kind of... Oh, oh, that's not good. That is not good. We are definitely having an impact on this game that is not designed to be impacted. All right. It appears that every single cart is going to be an issue. But I wa what I want to do is get at least two carts down through the straightaway. Because right now we're like one and a half. You can see our cart right behind us and now intersecting with the carts and also behind us, technically. <laughs> now we're about two carts down. Let's see if we can get three carts down. And then we're gonna go to third person to see what that looks like. Oh, and we have completely lost our speed meter, by the way. Uh, it's just gone. We have no more speed indicator at all. Like even if I go backwards, like it, yeah, there's nothing there. There's nothing there at all. All right, so here is, oh, here's what we're dealing with right now. So the front of our train is right there. That's the front of our train. And so we have that one, we have the two, and then we have this, this is the third, this is the back of the third one right here. So we, we've, we've done, we, we, we've done a bad thing. This is not, it's not the way trains are supposed to go. I don't know if any, I don't know, I wonder if any train in real life has ever had the misfortune of doing something as stupid as this. I don't know if a track exists in real life where you could accidentally turn back into yourself, but uh, that would be really sad if somebody accidentally did this. That would take a lot 
a lot of negligence. A lot of negligence. Okay, so next I think is going to be the even more fun experiment. We're going to go ahead and clear this track, and we're going to see if we can, um, we're going to do the same thing that we just did, but rather than going directly into ourselves, we're going to jump over ourselves and hopefully land on top, or I, I, I think we're going to land on top based off, off of something I've seen before, but uh, we might also... We might also potentially fall through ourselves, but I don't think so. It seems like our passenger carriages have collisions. So now we got to get our train out of here once again. Oh, yeah, we've completely glitched out the meter. Even after clearing the track, we have no more speed meter. So that's okay, though. We don't need it. We just need to go full speed anyway. So I'm going to try to make this a loopable track so we can keep watching it go. All right, so pretty much the same thing. We're going to go right back onto ourselves. We're going to go like this instead. And we're going to see what this does to us. Whoa, 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 what? Why is there a train? What happened to all my carts? This is a train that's fixed, but this is not the- I sent my train flying off to the side. Hold on a sec. It erased everything! I'm still missing the red meter, though. Okay, well, I guess it's time to add more carts again. Alright, so I've added 25 carts. So that should be enough. It takes us almost all the way back here anyway. So let's, uh, let's get in and see what happens. All right, we're going to go full speed ahead, at least as much as we can. And there we go. Let's go to third person. And I'm thinking we should ride on top of our own train. That's not what was expected. Maybe we got to go higher. We might got to go higher. Let me try this. All right, we're going too high. By too high, I mean number two, not like too high as in like it's 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 too high. I mean, it's like, it's too high, not like T-O-O. -O. You know, never, you, you know what I mean. All right, go. We might need, oh, uh, that's, this is not good. All right, let's, let's restart. Let, let's, let's restart. This isn't working good. Whoa. All right, all aboard. All aboard. That would be a lot of people if we had people aboard this train. Okay, and third person. All right, now will it work? There it goes. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, so now that actually... T what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I gotta see that again. Did you see that? It looked like even when the train stopped being underneath us, our carts were still floating. I wasn't paying enough attention to really see it, though. So let's, uh, let's take another look at that happening. All right, go, 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 go. All right, third person. So watch the last couple of carts, I think. Once, once those carts get out... See, look, it... It continues to stay up in the air, which is, uh, quite interesting. Okay, so now I want to take a look at where the train is able to loop back around. Where does it come in contact with the ground again? And that way we can kind of create an infinite loop of the train going back onto itself, hopefully. So with 25 carts, we come down right here. Seems to be where we can turn back around again. I'm going to wait for the train to get out of the way. There we go. All right, now let's see if we can just keep the train turned to the right, and we should have an infinitely looping figure, infinitely looping train that gets onto itself. All right, and there we go. Now the question is, did it stay turned to the what? All right, it is turned to the right, but now this is happening. The calming music feels not right for this. Can I go? Okay, can you go, please? Okay, we're going. All right, now turn to the right. All right, now let's watch it. It should turn to the right. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, that... I don't know why it didn't stick that time. Okay, so that was weird. Uh, that didn't happen the last time. I wonder if something changed. All right, turn to the right. Stay turned to the right, please. Don't glitch out. Don't glitch uh, Oh, we did it. We did it. Is it turned to the right? I couldn't tell. I couldn't tell. It's not. It is not. Why aren't you working anymore? Oh, it is. It actually is turned to the right. It's kind of hard to see, but see, look, it's turned. To, can you see it? Can you see it? It's turned to the right. I'm trying to keep up with the train here. So it looks like even though the notch stays turned to the right, it doesn't actually work that way. So we're going to try to have to create a track that is self-sustaining in which we don't need to turn. All right, I'm going to do something stupid here, and I'm actually going to delete the tracks behind 
the front of the train. So technically, these ones are not going to be even in contact anymore. So that way, it has to go this way. I'm just hoping that these are going to stay. Yeah, that one's like floating there. I'm hoping that they're going to stay there. And this should hopefully keep us in an infinite loop once it gets there. So let's see if this works. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up there. Get up there. Now, please... Wait, what? What? What is going on? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that is not right. Okay, we messed that up. We definitely messed that up. We're gonna have to reach. Oh, no. It's turning into... What have we done? What have we done? I'm gonna screenshot that. That just looks weird. All right, uh, there is definitely some issues going on here, but the, uh, the main issue here, let's see what happens when we respawn now. Okay, that's what I was kind of hoping would happen, is we're gonna stay exactly the way that we were before, except these now go down to the ground. Okay, I think I can make this smaller, which will actually be better, and, uh, whew, this is, um, this is some interesting stuff here, isn't it? All right, that should bring us back onto ourselves. So hopefully we now have a working... Okay, the trains are actually following me this time. Hopefully we now have a working figure eight infinite loop of the train uh, turning back and riding on itself. All right, number one is successful. And it goes down. It's going to turn over to number two. Whoa! Oh no, we're just going to keep going higher. We've made a, a strange... Oh, this is going to keep going up and up and up. look how high it is. It now it has to go up that. Oh, no. And now it's going to be higher again. Oh, we're going to eventually miss the track. What is happening? This is I got a screenshot. What? Oh, no. this is a better than I could have imagined. How did we even do this? This is insane. I love this. Can it keep go- Oh, what is happening? What is going on? I don't want to like- I- I hope this never stops. I hope- I gotta keep taking pictures of this. This is crazy. I don't- I don't know what to call this. I have no idea how I can even like title this. All I know is that I want to make this even- even longer. I'm wondering how long we can make this train before it's too long and starts going into itself. But is it still going higher? I don't know if it's still going higher. I think it might be. Maybe not. Here, let's uh let we're gonna we're gonna zoom in. Alright, so this is the height that it's at right now. Okay, I think we've reached a stable point where it's just gonna stay at this height now. Let's see if it comes back up into this height. Wait. What? Whoa, okay, we missed something. We missed something here. Uh, I don't know what happened to the train, but it, it just reset it. it. It just went back onto the track. So let's add 50. Oh, it's going to be too long if we add 50. You know what? We had fun with that experiment. Let's go to the, um, the long. Let's try to make at least 100 passenger carriages. All right, yeah, we're at 25 carts right now, so I'm gonna try to go for a hundred carts and see if it lets me do that. 100. <laughs> we're at 100, at least, at least 100. There was a couple of ones where I didn't know if I clicked it or not, so I just didn't count it. So we're at least 100, maybe 101, maybe 102. But uh, let's see how long it takes us to get from this end of the train to the front of the train. I can't even see it from here. All right, you ready for a hundred train, a hundred passenger carriages? Here we go. Count them as we go by one, two, three, five, six. Okay, I'm not gonna be able to count that fast. All right, um, I'm not gonna cut this. I'm just gonna, we're just gonna see how long this actually is. I wanna give the full perspective here of how long of a train we're dealing with here. All right, and there's the front. So, I don't know what to do with this. I'm gonna respawn and see what happens when we respawn. Here we go, respawn. Whoa! I think we just shot out front ways from the starting track. Whoops. So I'm pretty sure... Oh, we are glitched into ourselves a little bit. 
Oh, we are really glitched into ourselves here. So I'm going to put up the gas a little bit. Oh, and we're glitching out some more. Ah, uh, oh, there we go. I don't know if we're the full length now. That, that looks like the full length to me. I guess the first thing to do is I'm going to start building the track up here. So I'm going to go ahead and take a piece. I'm going to put it right in front of the train. And the first thing I'm going to do is make ourselves a little bit of a loop here. So I think I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to, I'm going to do what I what we did last time where here, we're just going to, we're going to connect this track here. This is going to be the starting point of the train. And then we're going to see if we can make another infinitely climbing train that climbs on top of itself. All right. So now we should have a track that keeps infinitely looping upon itself. Let's just, whoa, where am I? Uh Oh, oh, this is glitchy. All right, let's just go forward, please. Fo forward. Oh, this is not the forward I was expecting. Oh, no. What's going? Are we stuck? I think we might be stuck. We might. We might be. Why are we stuck, though? We should be able to get up onto this track. Come on, train. Go. Go, train. Go. I think the train won't go onto this track because of the curve. All right, there. That should fix it. That should fix it. And then we can just delete that after the train gets on here. We'll go back into the train, go forward. Pew, 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 pew. Look, it worked, it worked, it totally worked. Okay, so now we're just gonna go and I'll do, I'll be able to delete it by the time it gets there. All right, go, 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 full speed ahead. All right, now we're deleting uh, this piece here, replacing it with that piece there. Okay, here it goes, it's coming back. Now, by the time it gets here, it should fall off so it can go back onto that piece. Good, good, good turn. <gasps> we have it. We have it. Look at it go. And it's probably going to keep going higher. St oh, no, wait. Is it going to end? Is it going to end in time? Uh, it works. It works. And then we're going to go higher yet again. Oh, no. Go, 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 go. You could do it. You could do it. You can do it, train. I believe in you. Yes. Yes. Go. Go. Oh, I don't know what my thumbnail is going to be. There's so many good. There's so many good screenshots from this. Look at it go. Keep going faster. Come on. Come on. Do I have to speed you up a little bit? What happened to your speed? Go faster. There we go. There we go. Now we're picking up speed. Actually, let's let's be in it. Let's let's see what it's like from the first person perspective. Here we go. All right, going around. We're going to run into ourselves. Oh. <laughs> I got to be honest. This is not what I expected to happen in this video, and I'm really happy it did because this is way better than what I thought was going to happen. I just thought we were going to loop around and just stay at the same level the whole time. But now we just have a we have an impossible train. We have a, a quite literally an impossible train. We've, we've done what? Oh no, it did it again. Why did you stop? Did it, what, what's going on here? It looks like it got misaligned somehow. But you know what? I'm okay with that. I think that we set out to do a goal and we surpassed what we, what we set out to do. So, uh, let me know what you thought about the 100 passenger train, uh, self climbing levitating track train toy that's a catchy title right there oh, i'm not gonna name it that though i don't even know what i just said to be honest but uh if you have any other experiment ideas let me know i can't really think of anything else other than just crazy long train that goes back into itself and onto itself what was your favorite part? What did you like the most about this? And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future creative gaming content like this. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.